Hello, everybody. We are continuing today with being filled speaking. I'm going to shift the emphasis a little bit because our scriptures that we're reading from and that we've been studying being filled speaking from a, out of Ephesians says, mm -hmm. be filled, do not get drunk with wine. I'm reading from the Amplified Bible today, for that is debauchery, but be ever filled and stimulated with the Holy Spirit. So I'm changing our emphasis and our shift today, whereas I, we've been focusing on being filled, speaking. I'm focusing, I'm wanting us to all focus now on the person of the Holy Spirit, being filled with the Holy Spirit. So, we have a more excellent covenant. It says in the book of Hebrews, we have a better covenant. We have a more excellent covenant because in the new covenant, we get born again of the Spirit of God and we have His Holy Spirit that comes to live in us. And so we can be filled with the Holy Spirit. Now the Holy Spirit is God and He is already in you and I, the fullness of God. So there's nothing you and I can do to make the Holy Spirit more full in you and I than He already is. We've already received out of the fullness of God, we've received the fullness of God coming to live in us. The Holy Spirit is the Spirit of Jesus. He is the Spirit of God and He completely lives within us in His fullness. Now, this us being filled with Him is our part where we've been looking at be filled with the Holy Spirit speaking. So, we also saw that that be filled in the Greek is a present continuous tense, which actually reads be being constantly filled with the Holy Spirit or be being continually full of the Holy Spirit. And of course, now we can hook it up to speaking that that's how we get full. But we need to know that we get full of Him, of the Holy Spirit when we are speaking. Hallelujah. This is very important for you and I to know because when we are full with the Holy Spirit, there's an outflow of Him from our lives and in our lives that is very very powerful, that benefits us in our life, in the earth and in this world system greatly. That is why it is the desire of the Father and the desire of Jesus and the Holy Spirit that we be being continually, always filled with Him, never empty of Him, but filled with Him. That is why we are to continue to speak. So you and I must continue to speak to ourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs and sing and make melody in our hearts to the Lord. Let me read you one of the psalms that we've been receiving from people that have been activated through morning moments. A time to run. This is God's time for me to run. Defining moments has begun, in time has begun a shaping of my future and paths to take. Only God's plans and purposes and pursuits I now partake. A gentle breeze of the Holy Spirit now blowing. I recognize, I see, I discern, I'm flowing. Words, messages, living examples, not by mere men, the working of His Word and His Spirit within. Encounters with God is what I expect 
big rock moments are here to direct. I do not withhold any person, place or thing. I will not go dark in the light God now brings. Unreservedly, I give God now my all. For all of Babylon in my life to fall, circumcision of the foreskin of my heart, I choose Jesus, my only part from the start. Sacrifice, dedication, consecration, fully connected to covenant, contract and visitation, my strong God, redeeming my time and my energy, purpose, favor and blessing overtaking me. I speak the Psalm, though it was given to another person in the body of Christ. This fills me with faith, fills me with His Spirit. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye, everybody.